Greetings and salutations one and all and welcome to a custom LEGO minifigure video. This minifigure is based off of a character from The Dragon Prince which is currently a TV show on Netflix and is also my favorite TV show of all time. Sorry other TV shows that I cherish and behold, uh, it's, it's, it's just gonna take the top. But without further ado, before we get carried away, let's get into a bit of an introduction. Oh, and by the way, right now I'm putting up time codes for each section of the video, so if you want to see certain sections and skip some others, that's totally fine. Here they are. So, a bit of an introduction here. This is the character Rayla from the Dragon Prince. She's an elf, but don't worry, fear not. Not like the uh, classic, stereotypical Lord of the Rings elves. They're like, oh man, I have, I have pointy ears and I'm so wise, oh my god. Like you see in 99% of fantasy things ever. It, it, it's one of my pet peeves. I'm sorry if I railed onto that. I'll, I'll skip over that. But these char these elves have things like uh, character, and they're not stereotypes, which is something that I can really appreciate. And this is why I wanted to do this character so bad, is just because I like the character in the show. So what ended up happening is I ended up just looking up reference material, first of all, for the character. At the very start, I only had these sword pieces, which I bought from a Ninjago set, which is the only reason I got the Ninjago set, was for the swords. That's the only real, like, uh, piece that I needed for this character. Looked up reference material, I ended up going on the official Dragon Prince Twitter, finding these two pictures, I'll throw them up, and that's basically what I used for the entire character to kind of model it out. And I also made some sketches, those have been destroyed, but those were just to model different pieces and see how I would transmit the obvious humanoid form from the cartoon into Lego form. And that's kind of what I used for that. I also want to say, uh, thank you. A little bit of a side note here. Thank you for to uh, the Dragon Prince community for not making it a minefield to go through. Uh, if, if you know what I mean, you know what I mean. If, if I'm going into the Overwatch community or the Star Wars community, all I'm saying is that sometimes you're you're guaranteed to enter, but you're not guaranteed to get back out. So thank you, Dragon Prince community, for being like I don't know, normal, <laughs> normal so far. Don't don't spoil for this this for me if I haven't delved too deep yet. All right, I just want to keep myself innocent. But <laughs> all right, we're getting a tangent here. On with the show. All right, start with a quick front view here. I'll throw the reference right here so you can kind of see where I was going with it. I used that picture to kind of do a lot of the torso work and of course the front, uh, I don't know, like bandolier for the pants and of course the boots and all that. So that's the front view right there. And then we go over to the sides. Eh, you don't really want to look at the sides. The sides were not as good. I mean, it still was serviceable, I believe. But it was not my best work. Obviously, you see the details down the arms. One thing I did forget is there's supposed to be a brown strap going across that. I apologize. But I already put the sealant on when it was done. And I just realized it like 20 minutes ago. So damage has already been done, folks. Sorry about that. And then we have the back view, which you can kind of just see the hair. And I think I did a pretty alright job on that, especially for my like first time doing a hair piece this complicated. First I did the base, and then I did the horns, and then the ears. Thought it turned out pretty alright. And of course the side pieces that are right down there in the front. Have that focus back in. So you can kind of see the back of the coat down there, and then it leads into the pants, which of course have the boots, and that's one other thing that I forgot. There's supposed to be a hole in the middle, but then again, Lego minifigures, they're supposed to be like a that color, like a oval down there. But of course, Lego minifigures have holes already, so I couldn't quite do that one. And I also I also didn't realize it existed until 20 minutes ago. So without further ado, other side real quick. Again, we uh, one thing I will disclaim is the reason the ear color is that is because I had to make flesh color from scratch with combining four colors. And I already tried once and I messed up real bad. So when I tried the second time and I got something close, I was like, I can't mess this up because I'll botch it again. I'm just going to go with this color. And that's kind of what happened with that. I'm going to take a look. I'm going to kind of separate it here so you can look at the top a little bit. 
So the top was kind of hard to get all the correct grooves in all the right places, but I think I did a pretty alright job of that. I used the models of the version 1 of the hair and the version 2 of the hair. I made three versions. One just to get a preliminary, the second one based off of the first one, and the third one is the best features of both of them. Uh, as well as the grooves in the hair, I thought the horns were a diff difficult aspect, but I got the purple, uh, purple detailing in there. And they're thicker than in the actual show, but in a Lego minifigure anyway, they tend to make them thicker, like the lines and, and paint detail, so I didn't think that'd be that big of a deal. Alright, I'm going to do a quick little tangent on the swords as well. Sorry I can't put it on a holder, because as I learned with the minifigure, if it gets put in a hand or anything on the little hilt part right here, it gets absolutely demolished. So that's why I'm not doing that. So, basically right here, I started with the hilt, or the, not the hilt, the actual blade, and I did a lot of iterations on a piece of paper, drawing it out. I traced over the sword piece, and then I figured out how can I do this, and I pulled up reference material. I will show the pictures that I used right here. And as you can see, I kind of based it off of those designs, but I also made it Lego. You know, Lego often has more cartoony uh, iterations of the real life things, or real life in quotations, and that's kind of what I used for this. So on the hilt, we do have the green markings that you see on the blades, I'll throw that up as well. But you can barely see them on this camera, it's very easy to see in real life. But I did that on obviously both sides right like that and that's why that main coloring is why I don't want to put both of them in the character's hand because it gets destroyed and I don't want both of those detailings just to be destroyed for nothing so that is the reason that both of these are not on the figure because in obviously in the in the uh, show she has two swords and that's why in conclusion Oh my god, this was a fun character to make. This was so fun to do. This was a genuine, really fun time. I mean, I know I've, I've probably destroyed my channel for not making a video for like two weeks, but that's just because I've literally just been doing this. Like, this was a really fun character to make. It was really, because it wasn't easy, you know, it had some difficult points in it, especially with the hair, but I really do feel like it came out really well, and especially the torso. Like, I was not expecting the torso to come out that well. In fact, this was supposed to be a ditch torso, which I was like, all right, I'll just try to add some details into there, you know, and all like that. And then all of a sudden, it was done. The front was done, so I just went on with it. And I, I really enjoy how it came out. Like, I'm, I don't know. It was just really fun to see something that I've put a lot of time into actually pay off. And sure, it might have been beneficial for me to spit out like six videos that I could have made in the time making this one of stuff I already made but the stuff I've already made has been sitting on my shelf for months and it would just be like oh look at this thing I made months ago that I'm not really passionate about this is something I'm passionate about I really like making this I also like making the videos because I just got new software and it's just a really fun thing to do with this custom minifigures I can make more jokes I can add more memes and stuff and it's just a genuine you know fun experience so, in conclusion, I hope you guys enjoyed it, because I sure did. I don't know if anybody's look out there looking for LEGO Dragon Prince. I'm guaranteed there's not, but hey, my channel was started by LEGO Slug Terror, and, you know, who who watches that? So, well, I guess it, it might have a market. So, thank you all for watching, those of you who did. And I think I'll see you guys in the next one, hopefully. So, peace out. See you around.